A house fire awakened two Temple women early this morning. Temple Fire Department quickly doused the flames, but part of the home did receive some damage. Fox 44's Jessica Rivera spoke with the fire department and one woman about what happened. Jessica, what caused the fire? MG, the Temple Fire Department says a space heater started the fire and would like to remind people as the temperatures drop, remember to clear about three feet of the space for a space heater. Temple Fire and Rescue say the fire started in an attached carport and small utility room. Earlier, I spoke with one of the owners of the home. She did not want to be on camera, but she says she is grateful to get out alive. Her sister woke her up and she saw smoke filling the house. We do know that it was started with a space heater that was being powered by an extension cord. The woman told me this was a scary experience for her. Temple firefighter Santos Soto shares how you can avoid that from happening to you. We like to recommend to people is if they do have to use a space heater to warm part of their home, that they don't leave it unattended. The fire department arrived to the fire at 1.43 in the morning. By the time the firefighters arrived, the two owners were already outside the home with their pets. Pets are able to knock those over, so it should be a modern space heater if you're going to use one, one that has the anti-tilt uh, shut off switch on it. With the temperatures dropping, Soto wants to remind homeowners to keep a three-foot area around the space heaters clear. Just so that uh, the heat transfer isn't too great to any of your belongings and, and ignite anything too easily. And if you do use a space heater to warm up your home, don't use an extension cord. Space heaters and most powered equipment, appliances, stuff like that, should be plugged straight to the outlet at the wall. Tragedies like today, the Red Cross will be assisting the owners with what they need to get back on their feet. In the studio, Jessica Rivera, Fox 44 News.